Hello guys, welcome back to Tips and channel. In today's new episode, I'm gonna teach you the six basic calculus that you need to know in able to start your bartending career. So to those students out there who's aiming to be a bartender in the future, this video is essential to you. So we are going to make um, whiskey coke, gin tonic, coba libre, scroll diver, classic margarita, and of course the cosmopolitan. And to those who supported my channel, thank you so much. Consider liking the like button in this video and comment down below if which cocktail you prefer or which cocktail is most ordered in your bar. Let's go! Let's start with making ice cube for our drink. It's a whiskey based cocktail so I prefer using one big cube ice. I don't have an ice molder so I'm making it manually. If you're doing it the same thing like I did, make sure to be careful you don't want to end up hurting yourself and not be able to finish the drink. Alright grab your nice chilled rock glass, put your eyes on it. See? It's perfect fit. I will use 2 ounces of Johnny Walker Black Label Whiskey. And remember, make sure to keep walking, not driving. And that sounds so fit in their tagline. Johnny Walker Philippines, pick on the man. Then of course, top it with Coca-Cola and I choose rock glass for this drink because most of the whiskey drinkers don't like their drink too sweet. They're just adding a splash of soda to lessen the bitter taste from the whiskey. And putting a lime wedge is optional. So for those new bartenders out there, it's very important to analyze your customers and the drink you are making for them. Not all customers are the same. Remember that. Next, our second cocktail is called Gin Tonic. Compose gin and tonic water. That's it. <laughs> Trust me, it's so simple, but it's up to you if you want to make more money working behind the bar, you should do it more special than regular. So basically what I'm about to do is just layer it with citrus fruits, orange wheel on the bottom, then a piece of ice on the top. Just do it all over again with different citrus fruits like lemon and lime. Then pour 2 ounces of your favorite gin. Today I'm gonna use Hendrix. Accordingly from Google, tastes like sweet orange lime zest and with some other flower but whatever i like this gin because of its very unique aromatic flavor then lastly pour the tonic water all the way in the top don't need some fancy garnish on the top just add a straw then serve it to your guest such a beauty next the third cocktail has an international name cuba libre you bitch why didn't you just tell me it was a rum and coke that's my bad. And yep, my very close friend Tom Chris is right. It's just a rum and coke and a lime actually. Pour 2 ounces of your dark rum or gold rum. Bacardi will do but today I'm gonna use local brand from the Philippines and it's called Zabana. Top it with Coca Cola or Pepsi, it doesn't matter which one. And of course, fresh lime. I prefer squeezing the lime fruit over the top of the drink. In that way customer would see that it's an effortless drink. Give it a taste and we're good. Fourth cocktail is a little bit more difficult than the rest of the drink we are making today. So we are going to use Boston Shaker and fill it with ice. Two ounces of your top shell vodka citron. For those newly bartenders who doesn't know what is top shell mint, kind of spirits that is normally more expensive than the other brands that we use behind the bar. Or pretty much way more expensive actually. Then half an ounce of country or trouble sack. Again, Contra, Trouble Sec, and Garmonier is the same kind of liquor, so you can use whatever you want. And a half slice of fresh squeezed lime is enough. And of course, we're gonna need 2 ounces of cranberry juice. Then sealed your shaker, and you know what to do next. We can use martini glass, cocktail glass, or rock glass for this drink. But remember, most of the customers who ordered Cosmopolitan are ladies, so you better give them a fancy looking glass. Do this trick in front of your guest and thank you later, you just made additional 20 bucks in your gratuity. And we are now in fifth cocktail, it's called Screwdriver. And we're gonna need zombie glass or highball glass, chill it with ice, and you're gonna need 2 ounces of vodka for this cocktail. This drink is invented in Persian Gulf during 1949 and they call it screwdriver because this drink is so simple. You just need vodka and top it with orange juice, garnish it with rusty screwdriver. What? Bro. 
<laughs> nope, I'm just kidding with the rusty screwdriver part, but you need 2 ounces of vodka and fill it with orange juice. Actually, the real reason why they call this a screwdriver because this cocktail is supposed to be steered with a real screwdriver. Hmm, interesting, but you don't want to see your local bartender do that into your drink. You might gonna be disgusted. That's why we are going to stick with the traditional bar spoon steerer. Oops, I forgot the garnish, so I'm making an orange wheel. I hate wasting fruits, so I used those spilled orange from the previous cocktail and I'm trying to be an artist. And this is how it turns out. See, it works. Another 10 bucks in your pocket. Our final cocktail is called Margarita. And we need to chill our margarita glass, put some mice in your shaker, two ounces of your favorite tequila. One and two. Next, orange liquor and also known as triple sack, just pour half an ounce. Actually, make it one. Double measure this one because I'm not really sure. So here you go and shake your cocktail. But before I finish this cocktail, please don't forget to subscribe in this channel and check my other social media account on TikTok and Facebook. And also if you have a coming event that you might need a mobile bar, just send us your inquiry in our Facebook page. Just search Metro Mobile Bar. We cater alcoholic beverage in any kinds of event inside the Philippines. So see you there. All right, back to the drink. Rim your glass with lime and soul. Right there, just give a little slap. Then pour your drink all the way up. Garnish with lime. And there you have it all. I hope you learned something and see you in the next video. Adios.